Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Google has updated their remote desktop and it has a new fresh look to it. Before I show you guys how to install it, we're going to read the overview. Chrome remote desktop allows users to remotely access another computer through Chrome browsers or a Chromebook. The last paragraph says Chrome remote desktop is fully cross platform, provide remote assistance to Windows, Mac or Linux users or access your Windows and Mac desktop at any time. So in order to install this, you will have to have this installed on both computers or all the computers that you are going to remote into. You will have to download the Chrome browser and I will put all the links down in the description. Once you download the Chrome browser, you will go into the Chrome web store and where it says search extensions, we will type remote desktop. And then you will see it right on top. It'll be the first one. And we're going to click add to Chrome. Once you click add to Chrome, you're going to see a pop-up that says add Chrome remote desktop. And you are going to click add extension. On the top right hand corner, if you click on the remote desktop icon, it will bring you to this page here where it says Chrome Remote Desktop. Your desktop anywhere. Securely access your computer from your phone, tablet, or another computer. It's simple, it's fast, and free. So we're going to click Get Started. It's going to have you sign into your Google account. Then it's going to bring you to this page here. These are the computers that are connected to my Google account. For this device, remote access has never been set up, so you're going to see me do that right now. So we are going to click on the blue icon where it says, if you hover over it, it will say download Chrome remote desktop. We're going to click on that. And it's going to download Chrome Remote Desktop. Now we're going to click Accept and Install. And you will have to go through this same process on every computer you want to remote into. You can choose the name. I'm going to leave it as it says. And here we're going to choose a pin. The pin has to be at least six numbers. And we're going to click on start. All right, so now this computer is successfully set up right where it has a little pencil icon. If you hover over it, it'll say edit settings for this device. You can always change your pin there or the name, and you can also disable the remote connections to the device. Now I'm going to try to connect to my other computer called Insane PC. See if I remember the pin.
have now successfully accessed this computer. A cool option this remote desktop app has is you can access any computer by just downloading the remote desktop application on your cell phone. So you can access any computer with your cell phone. That is pretty cool. Another cool option this has is if you click on the blue tab, tab here on the right hand side, it has a few options like disconnect, full screen, scale to fit, resize to fit, displays, and a cool option it has is file transfer. You can transfer file between both computers. And we are going to try that right now. We're going to click on upload file. We are going to transfer the YouTube test. If you look on the bottom, it says upload complete. Look for the file on the remote device desktop. I'm going to pull it from the bottom. There it is. So a very cool option. You can transfer files between both computers. Please like and subscribe if this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next video.